Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Interviews with Advisors. I'm Michael Strickland, and today I have the opportunity of sitting down with a financial advisor who just recently ran a seminar with us and had some of the most phenomenal results we've seen from just such a short amount of time. Uh, we're sitting here with Alex Robinson from Manulife over in Oakville, Ontario. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Alex. It's, it's incredibly, you know, I'm, I'm very excited to sit down and chat with you about this. Hey, well, pleasure to have you. Uh, pleasure to be here, Mike. Uh, really grateful. And um, it's been a blast uh, working with you guys. And um, I'm very happy to share my results. Well, thank you. Uh, well, so, so, Alex, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your practice? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, giving you guys the Coles notes uh, of uh, who I am. So I've been in the financial industry for about 11 years, going on 12 now. Um, I'm currently with Manulife Securities. Um, we have an office, very beautiful office here in Oakville. And, um, you know, I've worked in the financial industry for a while. So I've been with uh, National Bank. And then before that, I was with, uh, you know, BMO um, as part of their discount brokerage. And then before that, I, I was with RBC. So, uh, yeah, I've been around the financial indus industry a bit. And I like where I am right now, especially because it allows me to um, really be holistic in my approach to helping people. And, um, you know, I, I, I love the fact that uh, no matter what walk of life somebody's in, I can, you know, basically use my knowledge and the resources that I have available to, uh, you know, help them, whether it's just giving solid, you know, advice or information, or, you know, offering them what is most appropriate for them. Awesome. So, um, like I was saying earlier, you just finished running your seminar at I think it was like last week now. Uh, so I just wanted to touch base. What uh, can you give us a little bit of information on your seminar, kind of like the statistics that you got from it? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the topic that I covered, um, you know, last week, Thursday was taxes in retirement. And the goal of that seminar was, of course, to give uh, all the people who attended, um, you know, not just the fundamentals on what they would need to know if they were looking to retire seriously or if they are in retirement. But I also wanted to take it a step further than what they're accustomed to hearing about when it comes to retirement and really dig into uh, strategies, um, some of the mistakes that people make um, and what you should want to avoid and the importance of, you know, knowing what, uh, you know, I'd break it into three categories, basically what the government, uh, you know, has available for you what um, you can do for yourself and what your employer can do for you and just how to put those three areas together based on your personal situation and uh, you know come out with the best possible outcome and in terms of the outcome of that seminar it was fantastic so um, I had about 65 people uh, register to attend the event and I had 35 34 people um, actually attend the day of and I'm especially happy because um, you know, I was told, you know, beforehand that, you know, I was doing a good job when we were doing some of the rehearsals and, you know, I was thinking, yeah, yeah, you know, they're just patting on me on the back, trying to give me a morale boost or what have you, right? But um, in my mind, I was thinking, okay, I want to stick to an hour, you know, this is what I want to do, get this done. But we ended up having such great engagement that um, it went, you know, an hour and 45 minutes. And I kid you not, if, if I didn't shut it down myself, I think they'd still be here asking me questions. <laughs> So um, again, it, it was it was it was very very good. Everybody loved it, and I've got some great feedback while reaching out to people as well. That's that's awesome. Uh, so now, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but from from my understanding, typically whenever advisors try to bring on new clients, whenever they're trying to you know onboard new new people, it, that process can any, take anywhere between six to twelve months, sometimes possibly even longer. Uh, so, what was it like being able to have a process that now gives you the opportunity to have all of these folks that are genuinely interested sit down in front of you? and that you can follow up with within 24 hours. Well, um, I'll just say something that I remember making a joke with one of my colleagues. Uh, and I said, um, prospecting isn't supposed to be this fun. I'm confused, <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, in, in the sense that, no, it's, it's amazing, right? I mean, um, like many advisors, you know, I've done cold calling. I've done, you know, the social media, you know, reaching out to people. Um, you know, I've tried running Facebook ads, you know, for people to book appointments. Um, this has been, you know, the best uh, outcome that I've had. And the reason why is because 
a lot of the information that I was covering in the seminar is stuff that I would, you know, readily share with people and would normally get into when, you know, addressing their planning and all that, that kind of stuff. But the big hurdle to overcome with people is how do you even get to that point in the, you know, the first place, right? So what this seminar did, and I realized firsthand was it allowed people with no pressure, um, you know, no obligation to just sit here. And more important than the information, they got to know who I am. They got to see my mannerisms. They got to, you know, get a glimpse of my personality in addition to getting to see how I think and how I connect dots. And um, the end result is, yeah, I had maybe, I think five people the day of actually book with me. Wow. Right. Uh, which was again, you know, phenomenal. And um, I did it. In, and again, the impression that you get is just, just so different uh, because they've already seen you. They've basically spent an hour of your time without it being considered an actual formal appointment. So if they're saying yes or no to you after the fact, then generally speaking, they actually have made up their mind, right? Because they've actually had the chance to see you instead of you just calling them for the first time, you know, because, you know, maybe you bought some leads or maybe they're just over LinkedIn. They're just kind of window shopping. And they said like, hey, I'll hear what he has to say. But you're really only getting a 10 minute maybe window to talk to them before they even decide to get to move to the part of the relationship, which the seminar really kind of facilitates. So I thought that was amazing. Awesome. And so what would you say uh, your experience was like working with GQ? Uh, so uh, my experience from the very beginning to the end has been amazing. Um, I didn't know what to expect initially um, when Dave, you know, first reached out to me and I was just thinking to myself, right, I mean, everybody's kind of getting, you know, inundated with like, hey, we can, you know, get clients for you this way. We can find leads for you that way. Um, but then when I actually got to sit down with you, uh, you know, and hear about uh, this is what the actual process is. Um, I said, you know what, that makes perfect sense, right? You guys handle everything, right? You handle the preparation, you handle the logistics, um, you had coaching available just to make sure. And I mean, I've thought myself to be a very competent speaker. So, um, but still, it's just nice to know that there were just so many things that went into this behind the scenes that you guys facilitated um, that it really helped bring my confidence up. And I'm, you know, I mean, I would 100% recommend this for people that have never even done any kind of speaking event before especially as well but even if you are very versed in that um there's so much value that you guys offer um, you know outside of the seminar itself that you know it's definitely worth it and for that i would say adding the fact that we had such an amazing turnout as well um yeah i again i'd say that it was a, it was a great experience uh, you and sean um, have been fantastic the whole way through very informative and one of the things that means a lot to me as well is uh, the proactivity and bringing things up saying, hey, you know what, most advisors do this, so you should do this too, or these are some of the things that you are currently doing that maybe not a lot of other advisors do, but that's great, you should keep doing this. Uh, that kind of feedback is amazing, and I think the results of the, you know, actual seminar itself really speak to that. So, yes, I'd say that I had a very favorable, <laughs> you know, experience working with CQ. That's, that's so fantastic. So I, one of the last questions I want to ask you is for any of the financial advisors who are currently watching right now that might be sitting on the fence, not too sure whether or not they want to go virtual, maybe because they're waiting for physical seminars to come back, or maybe they're just not sure if this is right up their alley. Is there a piece of advice that you would maybe want to leave with them to, to help them with their decision? Yeah, no, absolutely. I would say that, um, I too was on the fence, right? Not because, maybe not because, you know, I was believing in physical, right? Uh, you know, uh, seminars over webinars, but more just, um, you know, I didn't really see how doing a webinar would yield any different results than, you know, doing anything else that I was already doing, uh, you know, for, for uh, you know, generating meetings. Um, but this method definitely does work. Um, I've seen the difference. It's night and day, the, the, the level of, uh, how should I say, uh, how, if you were to look at the spectrum of a relationship, um, most people are going to do business with you once they comfortably feel like they know you, like you and trust you, right? Yes. So doing, uh, exactly. So doing a seminar um, and being in that authoritative position 
and being able to be relaxed and nonchalant and give them that high level information, give them a demo of how your mind works and how they can put your mind to work for them instead of it being something more transactional, right? Um, there's, I can't think of any other way to really replace that. So um, obviously I know that uh, there's a lot of different factors at play. So I can't say that somebody else should expect, <laughs> you, know, you know, my exact level of results, but there's many factors that can be, you know, pretty uh, consistently replicated. And I would definitely say it's well worth doing at the very least, do it once, uh, you know, because there's like, there's so much learning that you'll have. And uh, whether you decide to continue to do it, you can continue to use, uh, you know, GQ. Maybe you want to do something on your own, but at least you'll have that structure and that framework and you'll know what goes into it. Uh, a good one for that matter. <laughs> yeah. Right. And, um, you know, I, I've already been, uh, you know, talking about this with other advisors, uh, even other friends of mine that are in different firms and saying, you know, this is something that you should seriously consider doing. So, yeah, I would definitely say that um, it, it's worth doing at the very least, you know, once. And, you know, I myself, like, I, I'm very interested in doing something again. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again for your time. I know how incredibly valuable it is. Uh, and I appreciate you taking that time to be able to sit down and not only help us, but of course, help uh, future financial advisors who are also interested in these services. So thanks again. Uh, and uh, I'm going to let you get back to your wonderful day. Uh, and for everybody else, thank you all so much for jumping on and watching this. Uh, until next time, I'm going to sit down with another advisor. Have a great day. Thanks again, Alex. You're very welcome. Take care, Mike.